So we're going to start with this one. White man runs with TV to prove racism killed Ahmed Arbery or whatever his name is pronounced. Oh wait, hold on. I may have to wonder, is it going to play or do I have to have my headset out? Okay, boomer. Actually, who Hello. is the oldest over here? Yeah, I think Demon is the oldest. Just call me Grandpa. Yes, Demon? I am 41 years young and Jesus. also probably the most immature. Yeah, you are definitely a boomer. That's Gen X. F word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm 20, so... <sighs> Freaking child. All right, I figured it out. I got my hat on backwards. I'm shirtless, like I'm on some episode of Cops. I'm running with the TV. Someone's gonna stop me now for sure. Because if not, what was the problem with the mod? Uh, Amat was black, poor, and... Those pretty much fill the criteria. <laughs> okay, I have a problem with the whole premise of this. I think it was also this guy was in Florida. <laughs> no, we're used to that crap. That happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Where was uh, the uh, Ahmad shooting exactly? Was that also in Florida? That was in Georgia. For one, like you're comparing two different states. I, I don't remember much about Georgia, but all that I easily remember when I think about Florida was that case about a guy who was trying out a new drug and he was running up and down the street naked for an hour. <laughs> the guy that ate someone's face off? No, yeah. no, 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 no. He later on tried to have sex with a tree, and that's when the neighborhood filled with children decided to call the cops. Not the fact that there was a naked man running up and down the street for an hour. <laughs> so... Man goes into neighborhood where he does not live. There is a house under construction. He routinely breaks into it. Now, I'm not saying he stole anything. There is no evidence of that. But it's just suspicious going into an abandoned house at night or a house under construction. And then someone catches him and he takes off running. Now, that in and of itself implies he wasn't just there to check out the architecture. He was there up to some nefar nefarious purpose. Now, the two dudes that chased him down... I'm going to throw a little shade their way, too, because they could have called 911 and just followed him. Now, when they did get out, he did run around the truck and engage in a physical alter altercation with the one gentleman, which I still think, if anything, they are definitely responsible for manslaughter. But I don't think the murder charge is applicable. Oh, yeah, I, I completely agree. I think this is uh, probably at most uh, a manslaughter, in my opinion. And I don't think it was, there's no evidence to say that it was racially charged. And this guy carrying his TV down the street, it like doesn't prove anything. One, it's daylight. I mean, obviously it's weird to carry a TV out while you're running, but again, it's Florida. Also, it's daylight out where people most think, I think, I think most people think crime happening at night, so they're more weary at night. The other thing, it's, it's a different, completely different state, so that makes different issues. Yeah, I mean, around here, um, around here, boy, uh, seeing someone with a hat on backwards, no shirt on, carrying a TV, just be like, oh, he's taking it out of his house, maybe he's putting it in his car, or he's moving it to, like, another house, or he's selling it to his neighbor. It'd just be like, man, no big deal. But yeah, that's my whole thing. I don't think it was necessarily based on race. Now, could it be? There's a possible chance, but we don't know for sure. But I will say that there, this is a case of actual corruption. Yeah, I'm just thinking that we need to see all the details because everyone like jumped the gun. Like, heck, the whole LeBron James made a comment about this and stuff yeah. you know, that black people were being hunted and stuff. It's like, you know, the point is that like racial um, division is really, really high right now in the country. And they're looking for almost anything like this to basically, you know, push the narrative and stuff before all the facts come out. There was uh, one article that I saw that actually already came out and called them white nationalists and KKK members. It's like, nobody knows that. The other thing is, another thing is that they will try to say that this is just another example of white on black crime. It's like, there isn't rampant white on black crime. In fact, if anything, it's actually worse for uh, whites because it's more of black on white crime because over twice the amount of whites are killed than the other way around. Do they, yeah, because didn't they also prove that if you were take if you were to take out like um, crime like violent crimes committed by blacks and Hispanics, America's like crime per, like numbers would be very similar to Europe's. Yeah, it would be probably about maybe like I think only like um, a two point five. 
which is considerably closer. I mean, it's, it's still well, a higher, mean, but it's still considerably closer to that of a, a European country. Well, I mean, if the UK is an example, I think there's a correlation between culture and rampant crime issues. I think it was London, right? Their knife murder statistics like was in worse than um, the um, than New York City's murder rate. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not that bad, yeah. So I was oh, that's why you got to ban all those evil knives, mate. Oh,